Hello, this is Gene Trowers from the University of Arizona. And today, let's discuss the mechanism of gastric acid secretion. As you will recall, parietal cells located in the body of the stomach secrete hydrochloric acid as well as intrinsic factor. This acid will be secreted into the lumen and we're going to discuss how this occurs. In the parietal cells, intracellular carbon dioxide will combine with water in the presence of carbonic anhydrase to produce carbonic acid. Carbonic acid will then disassociate into hydrogen ion plus bicarbonate ion. The hydrogen ion will be secreted from the cell via a hydrogen potassium ATPase pump located on the apical border. And this hydrogen ion will be secreted into the lumen. A chloride ion tends to follow the secretion of hydrogen ion into the lumen, hence producing an end product of hydrochloric acid. Now what about the bicarbonate ion produced in these mechanisms? The bicarbonate ion will be secreted across the basal portion of the parietal cell into the venous blood. And this will occur via a chloride bicarbonate exchanger. And when this occurs, when the bicarbonate is secreted into the venous blood, this will result in the alkalinization of the venous blood, which is classically referred to as the alkaline tide. And I should also mention that on the basal portion of the parietal cell, there exists a sodium potassium ATPase pump. So let's review. The gastric parietal cell will produce hydrochloric acid and secrete it into the stomach lumen. Concurrently, bicarbonate will be absorbed into the blood. Intracellular carbon dioxide combines with water in the presence of carbonic anhydrase to produce carbonic acid, which dissociates into hydrogen ion and bicarbonate ion. The hydrogen ion is secreted into the lumen via a hydrogen potassium ATPase pump. Chloride ion tends to follow the secretion of hydrogen ion into the lumen to give you an end product of hydrochloric acid. The bicarbonate ion, which was produced by this reaction, is secreted across the basal portion of the cell into the venous blood. And this occurs via a chloride bicarbonate exchanger. And this secretion of bicarbonate into the venous blood will lead to the alkalinization of the venous blood classically referred to as the alkaline tide. And eventually, this bicarbonate will be secreted in pancreatic secretions to neutralize hydrogen ion in the small intestine. Hope this enhances your understanding of the mechanism of gastric acid secretion. And we invite you to view our next video, which deals with gastric acid secretion, stimulatory factors, as well as the mechanism of antacid medications. Thank you.